everyone, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Jessie, do you remember what last week's Bible story was about? <gasps> yes! Last week's Bible story was about how God created the world. Good memory. Do you remember what day of creation God made the animals that live on land like uh, alligators, lions, and cows? Hmm. Oh, I got it. The sixth day. Very good. Today's Bible story is about something else God created on the sixth day. Oh yeah? What else did God make? I'll give you a hint. Oh, people. <laughs> That's right. Let me tell you the story of how God created people. God created the whole world. He made the sun, the sky, plants and trees, and many kinds of animals. But God was not finished yet. On day six of creation, God made people, and He loved them most of all. God said, let us make man in our image. So He made a body out of the dust on the ground. Then He breathed into the man, and the man came to life. The man's name was Adam. God gave Adam a home. He made a garden and put Adam in it. God gave Adam a job working in the garden and taking care of it. God gave Adam food to eat. God said, you may eat from any of the trees in the garden except for one. God warned him, if you eat from that tree, you will die. Then. God looked at Adam. Adam was all alone. It is not good for the man to be alone, God said. So God decided to make a helper for him. God brought to Adam the animals he had created, and Adam gave the animals names. But these animals did not make good helpers for Adam. So God made Adam fall asleep. God took one of Adam's ribs, and he created a woman. When Adam woke up and saw the woman, he was happy. The woman was a perfect helper for Adam. She was his wife. Adam named his wife Eve. God put Adam and Eve in charge of the animals and gave them everything they needed. God looked at everything he had made and it was very good. So on day seven of creation, God rested from his work. God created people in His own image. He loves us and gives us everything we need. People are special because God made us to know and love Him. Through Jesus, we can know and love God just as He planned. 